What? Pig has been struck by lightning. Are you kidding me? Bacon strips! Hey, how's it going, Spy here, and welcome back to another Dawn of Man episode. We recently just got into the Copper Age, and today we are going to learn how to make the wheel so our people can stop straining themselves pulling these heavy carts all around like this girl here. We need to get the wheel made so we can make some carts, but we also need to get some points to get donkey domestication so they can pull the carts around for our people. That's going to be amazing, and I think it will help our people be happy. So they're not grumpy and mad that they have to pull this stuff around all the time. And also, we should probably prepare for the possibility of raiders attacking both our little colonies here. Because if you remember from last episode, it said there's a higher chance of being raided. But I think it's just gonna be a bunch more raiders instead of those little tiny scouting parties. I think this place is alright, but this place over here needs an extra tower right about there and I think one back here as well and we should be good I don't think our wood walls are gonna be good so it's probably good to rush to the bronze age here so we could get masonry which is a stone wall which is probably a lot stronger than these wood ones okay let's speed up time here and get some points so that we could get our donkeys and then the wheel I'm gonna go over here though and I'm gonna make our people make a bunch of copper spears for preparation of being attacked okay so I realized in here we don't have a place where people can really cook food except these tents here so I'm going to go to production and we're going to add a little hearth right next to our well there and I also should probably add a storage area where they can store food granary right over here here somewhere I think this is a good spot I don't know if we really need one there but it's an extra spot for food just in case these ones over here get destroyed oh oh look over here guys there's a bunch of pigs so last episode we bought the pig domestication maybe we should start getting some pigs I'm going to capture these two little babies here and we're going to have pigs in our colony and then all we need after that is just the cattle and horses because we're getting donkeys soon capture these little piggies oh yeah look is it gonna turn into a little pig yeah <laughs> watch this ready baby piggy oh it doesn't really look like a regular pig but it's still pretty cute look at it we're gonna have bacon strips in our colony here. I'm just kidding. We're gonna raise them for a little bit, get a bunch of them grown up, breed them a bit, and then we're gonna have some extra food. Oh no, hold up. Where? Oh guys, look at this. Six raiders. We could do this. Sound the horn. Get our fighters out here, and we're gonna take these raiders out. Close the gates and attack. Attack, attack, attack. They destroyed my tower. Holy man, that was fast. It's kind of crazy. Oh no. Some of our people died. We had three people die. Oh, that sucks bad. All right, turn the horn off and open the gates. No. Oh, that sucks. Well, we defended our colony. That was a little bigger raider attack. I think it's just going to get bigger and bigger. So we're going to have to advance as fast as possible. We're going to have to rebuild our tower too. I never knew they could destroy the tower so fast. Oh, and we just reached 10 knowledge points, so we're gonna get donkey domestication now. And then we just need 10 more points for the wheel, so we can get some carts. Now, let's go out and look for some donkeys. I don't know where they're gonna be. There's usually some around here. Is that them right there? Those are wild horses. Donkeys, where are you at? That's a shape. Oh, 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 right here. Donkeys. Capture that donkey there. Capture this donkey. We can't capture the older ones. We have to get little baby ones. And I think that's currently all the donkeys around here. These are horses. We don't have horse domestication quite yet. So we only have two little donkeys at the moment. More should come around when the season changes. A trader has arrived. What do you got? Oh, okay, they got two donkeys, and they also have megalithism, a type of spiritual advancement. Uh, how much do donkeys cost? Quite a bit. That's gonna be 560 for the megalithism and also the donkeys. That is a strange word. Uh, what can we trade for all that? We got a bunch of flint stuff that we're not gonna need soon because we just got copper. We got a ton of bone harpoons that we don't need, and boom! We got two donkeys. Oh, look at them. They're both adult male donkeys, but that should be helpful for when we do get carts. So in spiritual here, we can make three new things. Menhir, which is a type of stone, maybe like a ruined stone. I'm going to put this in the middle of our colony there, but we need a megalith. How do we get megaliths? Oh, right here. Mine that megalith and then put it there. What else can we make? Dolmen, a large monument made of several stones supporting a bigger rock. Ooh, 
and then a stone circle. The ultimate megalithic structure. Oh, okay. So maybe we should have this one outside our colonies and then the other little one inside. Let's put it right there. We're gonna need six megaliths. Are you kidding me? That's a lot. How does this work? Oh, oh, someone's mining it. She's right inside of it. Oh, there it is. Oh, prepare for transport. So it's going to cost three logs and three leather. And then we're going to roll this all the way over here, I assume. We got to do that six times for this one over here. Well, we got one there. I don't think I have enough megaliths around. Two there, some back there. You know what? I'll mine all of these. Then we'll have to come back for them. That's three. That's four. That's five. And there's six. Holy man, that is crazy. And there we go. They're preparing it for travel. Get this moving all the way over here. We got one knowledge point for that. Okay, we got a trader. They got cattle domestication. Let's trade some more of our flint stuff here. That's gonna cost 350. Are you kidding me? That's a lot. 350. Boom. Cattle domestication. Sweet. There they go. They're moving the giant megalith. Come on, guys, pull it. <laughs> Pull it. You guys can do it. Oh, man. There's three of them pulling it. Look at them go. It's literally taking them forever, but they got this. <laughs> Don't mind the storm, guys. Keep pulling. We got four people on it so far. <laughs> Good job. Get this thing constructed. And there it is. We got to do that six times with the other ones. I might have to find... Wolf attack. What? I might have to find some stones that are closer to the circle over there. I don't think it's attacking anyone. So cancel all of these big rocks back here because those are way too far to move. We got this one here. And then we might have a few more around the other side over there. There's another one there. So that's three, four, five, six. <laughs> and there it is. Does that get their morale up a lot? It looks like it does. So I'm going to make another barley field right here. We're getting quite a bit of animals, so it's probably a good idea to have another field here. Oh, oh, up here, there's a bunch more donkeys. Let's capture these little guys. There's three little baby ones here. And we just need two more knowledge points to get the wheel. And then we'll be ready for carts. Anyways, guys, if you are enjoying this game so far on the channel and want to see more in the future, make sure to smash that like button because we are getting pretty close to the Bronze and Iron Age. I think once we're done the Iron Age, we get steel making and that is the end game at the moment. And there we go. We survived winter. Our animals are coming out of their stables. They're all in there just laying down. I wanted them to come out, but I guess they don't want to. And we also just got... 10 knowledge points, so we are ready to learn how to make the wheel. Boom! And we can now make carts. Transport cart. Wow, all right. Let's make a bunch of these. An animal pole transport on wheels. How many donkeys do we have? Seven donkeys, so let's make seven carts. And that is seven carts. Guys, build these. Build these fast. They cost quite a bit of resources though. So for seven, we need 28 logs. Oh, okay, that's a little crazy. Get chopping some trees down, guys. And I think next I'm gonna be saving up my knowledge points for Bronze Age. So we can start working our way towards the stone walls, which will help a lot in defense. Okay, we're gonna need to build some more huts. We're gonna place another one over here and then we're gonna make another line like this. Oh, so our people are moving the megalith. Holy man, she's having some troubles pulling that because our, her friends over here decided to run away and not help her. So she's straining herself. Okay, there's another trader here. Fruit tree domestication. I got a lot of fishing rods now, so I could sell all of my bone harpoons for this. There we go. Fruit tree domestication. Holy man, we're almost completely done the copper age. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, okay. Raider attack. From where? Holy man. There's six more up over here. Okay, sound the horns. We're gonna get our people over here in the defensive position. Okay, hurry up, people, hurry up. Oh, they're all over here. Okay, get them. There we go. Get that one. Oh, there's so many raiders. Guys, what are you doing? You're letting them kill you? I think that is all the raiders. So two humans have died. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. That wasn't the smoothest raider attack because our people decided to stand right in front of them while they got attacked. One of our towers got destroyed. That's all right, though. I'm going to make another one up here. And I should have closed the gates, but I, my people weren't really paying attention. Neither was I. <laughs> what? Pig has been struck by lightning. Are you kidding me? My pig! No! <laughs> well, we'll take that raw skin and that meat. I'm sorry, piggy. <laughs> that sucks so bad. 
I'm gonna have to build another stable though because we almost have 30 animals and that means all of these are full. There we go. I built one there. Now, when are they gonna build these carts? I've been waiting for so long, but they're not bringing the leather over here. We got one leather. Come on guys, just place it down right there. Last sheep has died. Are you kidding me? I don't have any more sheep. I got tons of donkeys, some pigs. Where are the mouflons? Those are caribou. Oh, 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 here's a bunch of mouflon. We're gonna have our sheep back again. And there we go. They are finally building the car. It took them forever, like a whole season to build one cart. I guess that's my fault though, because I, I set the limits weirdly up here and they weren't making leather. So there we go. And our cart is almost done. Look at that, there's the wheels. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. I don't know how helpful it is, but it's probably super helpful. And boom, it's free. It's there. Take it and use it. <gasps> The donkey just picked up the cart. Oh, that is awesome. Can I control him? No, I can't. <laughs> but there they go. So they don't have to waste their energy transporting the stuff themselves. What are they going to collect first? Probably some wood. Yep, look at that. That's so much faster too. Now these carts right here might take a little bit to build because our people are a little slow at building them. Leather takes a little bit to make. We should have it in due time. And we have 12 points. And we're gonna get Bronze Age next episode. I can't wait to get stone walls. So now that we have some extra space, what I'm thinking of doing is finding some cattle. I think we gotta look for the big auroxes or something like that. Let's see what's around here. Holy, there's so many donkeys and other animals around here. It's crazy. Do we got some cows around here that we can take? Cows. Oh, right here, right here, right here, look. Yeah, let's capture that little guy there and capture that little guy there. And then we got these big guys here. They might try to murder us though, but we will see. Oh, 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 one of our people came here. She's taming one of them. Let's see the transformation of this Orox into cattle. Oh, it's so cute. Look at him, guys. Aw. So the only animal we need to domesticate now is horses. Because we have every single animal that we could tame except horses. I don't know what we can use horses for. Maybe carts as well and maybe riding? Ooh. If you guys want to see that, let me know down below in the comments. So I'm going to plant some trees inside here. Oh, you need a big spot for them. I'm gonna throw some cherry trees on the outside of our wall, our wall here. And we're gonna have to build a few more huts because we're almost at max population again. And a trader has arrived. What you got? Rye domestication. I need that. Give him some of my bows here. Boom. We now have rye domestication and copper age is totally complete and researched. And on to bronze age we go. We just need eight more knowledge points and we are in the bronze age. We're getting pretty close to being done the game. Just two more ages. And there's our little baby calf right there. So this cart is almost done. Let's check on our megalith stone circle over here. We only have one in here. We need five more. It might be a bit before we finish this. Uh, it's going to be awesome though. But for now, guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. If you would like to see more in the future, make sure to smash that like button. And let me know down below what it should progress towards after we get the bronze age. I'm thinking probably stone walls. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.